COVID clearly has affected us all. It has been a very stressful time. Even if you're not individually affected by bereavement, it has been fearful and stressful. And because we don't know what is going to happen, it can be frightening. And very often, they're the very feelings we would use alcohol for. Long-term drinking is very much associated with worsening depression. It certainly is problematic for those with anxiety in that you actually think it reduces your anxiety, and it does if you leave it at one or two drinks. And everyone thinks that it'll help you have a good night's sleep because you feel sleepy. But that's often related to the neurotransmitters in the brain, which alcohol affects. And as you process alcohol then, you often wake up during the night with greater anxiety, much more overwhelming anxiety, and even panic attacks. And then people think, oh, it's because I am so stressed when it's actually the alcohol causing it, so they drink more. So you get that vicious cycle then of drinking more and then you become tolerant because the more you drink, the more you have to drink to get the same effect. And then you have problems with alcohol as well as problems with anxiety. And if you actually look at treatment services for those with alcohol or drugs, probably about 70 to 80% have problems with anxiety and depression as well as alcohol. Alcohol is our favorite drug, but be aware it's a drug and we have to have a very healthy respect for it. I think taking a month off, I don't think I've ever heard anyone that hasn't told me how good they feel having taken a month off alcohol. They've lost weight, their sleep pattern is so much better, they're less anxious, they have found the first few days difficult and so you have to be aware of that, but they all have found it very positive. And many have returned to drink again and drinking, but they seem to be much more aware of their pattern and generally drink less. If you're looking at guidance, the important thing is to follow the Chief Medical Officer's guidance. And that is 14 units a week, not all together, but divided throughout a few days with at least two days with no alcohol and importantly I would add that there's probably no safe limit during pregnancy. And a few tips I would say is get outside, have a structure to your day, do some exercise, don't drink during the day, wait till at least six or seven at night time before you have a drink, see what other things you might do like and it really isn't whatever anyone tells you to do, it's what you would like to do, because then you'll continue doing it. If you told me to do some baking, I would hate it, or flower arranging, but if you told me to go to the gym or do some exercise, I would love it. So try and find what suits you, what helps you to reduce that stress.